Oh, Chris? Chris, over here! No. No. This is the spookiest episode of News Psycho. I'm... No, I'm not doing this. You invite I'm me on the show. The clown. You invite me here and this is what you want to do? I have... No. Wait, Chris. Wait. No. For trick-or-treating, I have great things that children and small business owners are like left. When you want to get... When you want to do this for real, get wait, back to me. Wait, but wait, I'm, wait, wait. No, get out of here. Homemade Metamusa. I have it here. It's better than store bought. Fruit. Kids love fruit. It's an avocado. I think it's a fruit, technically. Hey, Chris? Well. Welcome to News Cycle! Hello, hello, it's another edition of News Cycle. This is the show where I bring to you the top digital marketing, social media, just content, news, updates, stuff that you need to know. This is a, our second consecutive show. So I think for that, what we really deserve is a round of applause from our viewing audience. I do have a, 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 it's a, it's a studio audience of at least five to three to zero people here with us today. I say us because I do have a guest, but we're going to wait to talk to him because first, the first thing we're going to do, morning announcements. Morning announcements, a segment where I'm bringing to you some quick hit stuff that just either broke right before we recorded this show or uh, we just didn't have time to prepare anything. So chances are you're going to see a little bit more about these topics probably in future episodes. So the first thing is IG, otherwise known as Instagram. They are combining Instagram TV, otherwise known as IGTV, and feed videos which I also assume means reels, into a new tab called Instagram video. Now, this may not have rolled out to you yet, but make sure to go in and update your app. What you're gonna see is along the bottom. It's from, from early screenshots of the beta is that it's going to kind of replace where reels is and video is gonna be the new home for all things video on Instagram. So again, this is early. We just got news of this. They're kind of rolling it out through some updates. So who knows, by the end of November, we may actually see this on our devices. In other social news, I exhale before I talk about this one. Trump, Donald Trump, former president Donald Trump has announced that he is uh, launching his own social network called Truth Social. Just going to leave that there because I think that's uh, just going to leave that there. We're probably going to end up talking about this in future episodes, but Truth Social is on the way, folks. So get excited. Also, in uh, more direct Tricycle Creative news, since this is being recorded in October going into November, I think it's important for you to know that I will be rolling out once again no Facebook November. So this is where I pretty much pull the business um, off of Facebook properties. And when I say pull, I don't like delete. I'm not there yet, right? But what I do is I essentially hang the closed for business for a month and step away from Facebook properties for the month of November. I'm going to also be bringing to you um, specialists, colleagues, fellow marketers, 
uh, on the podcast over at tripodpodcast.com, and we're going to be talking about other strategies, platforms, tactics that you can use instead of Facebook. If you want to learn more about this initiative, you can go to tricycle-creative.com slash goodbye, Facebook. And lastly, I want to tell you about a brand new program that I have launched. It is called the SEO Bootcamp. This is very exciting for me because this has come about after working with dozens and dozens of entrepreneurs who needed help with SEO. And if we look at what it is, what this is, is it really tip brings together everything I saw that small businesses, creative business owners needed, right? So this hits all of the things that you are going to need. And if you sign up for this SEO bootcamp before the end of 2020, I'm throwing in some bonuses and you're also going to get a discount on the program because the program is going to go up. It is going to go up in price in 2021. So you can check it out, tricycle-creative.com slash SEO bootcamp. So that was morning announcements. And so now what we're going to do, we're moving on to the big three. And that means we got to welcome in my guest. There he is. Hi, Chris. Hi. 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 I hacked your camera and microphone. I thought you could join me for today's show. Yeah, it's me. Hi. Hi. How did you get in my house? Well, Why are you I, here? Last time I was there, I um, installed a backdoor code on your computer. So, yep, I have been watching you. We're going to need to talk. We're going to need to have a talk about about what you do with your body. Okay, so we're going to need to have a conversation about that. But we'll take that offline. So how are you this morning, my friend? I am great now yeah. to see you. Oh, well, you didn't know I snuck in. I thank you. for Today, he's wearing a shirt. So this is a real I didn't know. I didn't know. And And a shirt with sleeves. I know it is. Let me say we could definitely do a show sleeveless guys, right? I other than these recordings, I'm I'm not going to lie. I I very rarely am. um, Have sleeves on this. What are they on my body? (laughs) My body. And our first topic today is sleeves. I'm our, glad you connected here to my sleeves. podcast. My Will sleeve cast. help you with your marketing? The answer <laughs> is yes. No, we're not talking sleeves fully. Nothing up my sleeve, no sleeves at all. That's you true. Know? That's So this is not a sleeve podcast, not a clothing podcast. We are talking about the big news topics, updates from the month of October 20. 20 what year are we in 2021 am i right on that i don't know they all blur together yeah i think that's right so we're talking about the the big three that i picked out here now the first thing we're going to hit on this was amazing and we are of similar age so i think this is going to probably delight you and maybe delight Mm -hmm. many of our viewers um so piper sandler They're a financial firm. They recently conducted a survey of U.S. teens polling 10,000 Gen Zers, okay? Average age of 15.8 years. They have their learner's permit, right? On their preferred clothing, snack foods, makeup, cell phones, as well as streaming channels, social media platforms, that kind of thing. And what they found some of the things adam sandler was a top celebrity name among gen zers let me let me i have to repeat that adam sandler not driver name among gen zers and who did the survey piper sandler their financial firm Oh my Their god. Connection. You just blew my mind. <laughs> I didn't even make the con- <gasps> You think Piper Sandler is a subsidiary of, of Adam Sandler Adam Incorporated? Sandler. <laughs> You've cracked this case wide open. I this is viral marketing. Wow. <laughs> this is a flawed survey. <laughs> They're related. 
Adam, this is like Adam Sandler's second cousin or something. Like, hey, I need you to yeah. do a survey. This and is then... Philip Morris <laughs> saying that cigarettes are safe and healthy for you. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's the other thing. Here are other names that were on there. The Rock. Sure. Taylor Swift. Sure. Kanye. Okay. The Rock, I get. He's made, he never stops making movies. T Swift. Yeah. Duh. Kanye, though. Has he done any? Has he dropped a new album yet? He dropped an album, I want to say, in the last couple months, but he hasn't done anything. I mean, one could argue that is how his much thing. he's done in throughout their entirety of his life. But, but I'm just saying, even in the last year or among these Gen Zers, yeah, crazy, crazy. Yeah, that's a bizarre list, right? I would expect to not know anybody on the list, right? Like Exactly. Exactly. Now You would think where... there'd be at least one name on there that you'd be like, obviously I've never heard of this person. I'm now, wicked old. Here's where it gets even more interesting. We've talked about Adam Sandler, but they also asked him about restaurants. So just out of curiosity, what do you think is like a top like fast food? chain restaurant among the Gen Zers. Chipotle. It's on, yeah, on the list for sure. Yep, yep. I think Chick-fil-A, I mean, I don't know, I don't think it's just us in Texas, but like people like are, people are insane, like like they need to calm down with Chick-fil-A. People need yeah. to relax about Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Like there's places here where like there's a line around the block at lunchtime for Chick-fil-A. You need to relax. Right? And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You need to just chill out about Chick Fil A, Starbucks. I mean, duh. do you think do you think Chick Fil A lines are longer now because malls aren't as popular? Everyone used to get their Chick Fil A huh. fix at the mall. It's got to be a contributing factor. I know I did. Yeah, it's got to be a contributing factor. This is I mean, how are you going to get it? Right? Oh, well, you go right. to the mall and whatever. Now you don't. That's not an option, right? But here's another surprise that cracked. It didn't make the top five, but it moved up, moving up the charts. That's my Casey Kasem. <laughs> yeah. Armenian. So it's pretty much exactly like he sounds. Um, now, here's the name that now, you're really going to be shocked this by. This is a long distance dedication. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. Here's the name. This is going to shock you. Olive Garden. Really? Olive Garden. Are they have still you family? Been to an Olive Garden? I've been when to was the last time you've been to, went to an Olive Garden. Nineteen ninety six. Oh my god! Yeah, I mean, I think I'm right there in that range too. I think I've been to an Olive Garden. <laughs> like one. I think I've you've been only once. Experienced one yeah, franchise. I think I've been to one Olive Garden in my life. Maybe you need to branch out. <laughs> Hey, am I? It's am I? Olive <laughs> so, uh, 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 uh. You get it. You get it. It's a joke. I do. So this. Let me tell you what this did for me. This. This. This took me down a path. Yeah. Now. Now I should also point out I'm gluten free. So this took me down a really difficult path. Also. I was right? gonna say that's the oh. entire menu is gluten based. I was curious. You know how curious I am. And I thought to myself, is Olive Garden doing something with Gen Zers that I'm just not aware of? So where would I go to look at that? You know where? Like high pitched high pitched audio that like oh, that's doesn't good... register with me. Yeah, that only you can only hear if you're under the age of eighteen. Yeah, that's is that is, that's the sort of thing you're talking about? Maybe. Maybe. I went to TikTok to see what is going on. And I'm going to share this with you. We're going to, I'm going to show you what I found. So give me a second here. Okay. Yeah. Got, what's happening at the OG? Got to pull up the TikTok. It's not on my first page. Yeah. Got to agree to the terms. Okay. Let me, all right, here we go. We're going to take a look at TikTok together. You, me, this is not the Olive Garden thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to search are you on TikTok? You're not on TikTok. Do you do TikTok uh, at all? Me, me neither. No. I have an account, but you know. 
oh, Ross, you should be on your marketer. I get it, all right? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so here's what seems... So, so first of all, it's not Olive Garden doing anything. Because this is their account. Zero videos. <laughs> Zero videos. Okay? Yeah. All right? A lot of Arden, Olive Garden mom. Do you think that's someone who works at Olive Garden? Or someone who just like has an olive garden like what her name is olive and she happens to garden that and might be other i want to think that any of those are the are the answer versus she, this is a, a brazen endorsement of olive garden but let's look at videos crowdsourced videos being made about olive garden this seems to be a hot thing the what i eat at olive garden tiktok I'm gonna, we're going to click on the top video, so hats off to Rain Clements. She's going to, this is going to blow up her spot. Whoa. Okay. Now, I've watched this video already to prepare. This girl, as someone who is gluten-free, this video, like, made oh, me oh. want gluten. I don't do gluten-free because I'm allergic. Let me be, it's a choice that we're doing. But man, did I want some gluten. She's chowing down. It's still... Right? I mean, it's impressive work. Wait, not bread. She goes, for a, <laughs> she goes for a breadstick after a mint. That is a baller move. And then dessert. And then second why, dessert. Second why dessert. The, why Third the mint? dessert. I mean... So this appears to be a very big thing as far as like, look what I eat at Olive Garden. Oh my God. I don't know. I haven't pre-screened up 12 breadsticks. The salad looks like pasta. <laughs> it does. It does. The pasta, the salad has, po it's truly pasta salad. Mozzies. Like, I mean, I get that. Dang. He doesn't let that stick. To, like, soup. Bean soup. I mean, oh, boy. two soups. Nope. A tomato and a non tomato. Whew. Girl. I mean, this is some impressive work. How much is all this running? Is that the appeal? Because all this Maybe. is probably like ten ninety nine, and like. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it, there's that's. It's got to be something like that, right? So there seems to be a groundswell of user-created content. Now, and a waistband. Obviously, obviously, we saw no videos from Olive Garden, but it seems right. to me like huge opportunity. This is where I will go ahead and pre-bill Olive Garden for this advice. But like, you know, you could probably on TikTok do a video of people, how many jumping rope with pasta? You could probably do a, I'm sure it's probably even on their menu, like a pasta turducken, like they put like a lasagna in a calzone, you know? Right, no, gnocchi stuffed ravioli. Gnocchi stuffed ravioli inside of a pizza, inside the crust of a pizza, which then is folded up and put. Oh, just ravioli lasagna, just la <laughs> with the lasagna with little raviolis in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's a lot of opportunity there. On top of a bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> I just would never have guessed that this would have scored as high as it did with TikTok the challenge. Z. How many how many breadsticks can you stack? Like Oh yeah. Fast. That's like Lincoln breadsticks Lots. or like building a house of cards, you know? Like mm -hmm. what structures can you build with the breadsticks? See, right. The Eiffel party, Tower breadsticks, yeah. Build for this. You're on the clock. So, ten ninety nine. All you can eat marketing no, advice. An, oh, no, Chris, not a ten ninety nine. All you can eat marketing advice. We gotta move on. Uh, but before we do, what's your favorite Adam Sandler movie? And what's your favorite? I say Olive Garden dish, but what's your favorite Italian dish? Um, first of all, uh, Uncut Gems is now my new Adam Sandler movie. I don't know if you've experienced. I have not seen Uncut it. Gems. Oh, it is not a comedy. <laughs> it is a, uh, it is a, that, right? yeah, yeah. It is an anxiety ridden drama. Ooh. Uh, 
Bro, oh, you know, it's great. You know oh, it's great. It. All right, I guess. I also like Punch Drunk Love. I like Adam Sandler. Wow, you go when he's. Go I like his serious. I I do like his more serious stuff. Okay. I think he's actually pretty good. Um, but also classic Sandler, a uh, wedding singer. I always liked Wedding Singer. Oh yeah, Wedding Singer is very good. That's a good one too. It's a good roller coaster because that's one of yeah. those great date movies. Has its funny, has its crying, you know. Has its Buscemi. Has its been well. You know, every one of those got a Buscemi, right? Yeah. And then what's your favorite uh, Italian dish? Uh, I think I think a lasagna. I think I like a nice... Lasagna. Oh, no, wait. I know I like a nice big ziti. That's what I like. A baked yeah. ziti. Yeah. This is why we're just such good friends. I'm I'm all in on... When you get it to go, and it's in, like, the, the metal mm-hmm. con- to-go container, you know? Mm-hmm. With the cardboard lid. My that's a good ziti. My sister-in-law makes a mean baked ziti. I mean, mm. it's one of those like I'm licking the plate, like right, and then makes fun of you afterward. Oh, go for so, being a pig. Of course, yes. Which, so which mean. Is a, Meanest ZD. It's that's right. That's right. All right, that's topic one. We're on to topic number two. So this one is coming from the world of Google and YouTube. You know, they're the same. One owns the other. Bop, 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 bop. But this was interesting. They dropped this the month of October. Google and YouTube are cutting off ad money for climate change deniers. So if you have a channel on YouTube and you're making videos about climate change, den- denying climate change, guess what? You ain't getting no money. You're being denied the cash. Now, Google says it's no longer going to allow advertisers, publishers, and YouTube creators to monetize content that denies the existence of climate change. And it's going to use a mix of automated tools and human reviews to enforce the policy, which oftentimes means it's going to be very... the. The automation tends to be very aggressive because this, I mean, any ones that haven't automated, it tends to be aggressive and then you have to appeal and typically, right. now again, I, I don't know this for a fact, but typically then it kind of goes to human, right? So if you're like, no, I was not doing that, then the, the, okay, it gets escalated to usually a person, right? Um, and they said, when evaluating content against this new policy, We'll look carefully at the context in which claims are made, differentiating between content that states a false claim as fact versus content that reports on or discusses that claim. So, for example, if I was talking about, like I am right now, climate change denier stuff, but not necessarily spat denying, yeah, climate change, yeah. They're good. See, how do you do that automated? That is such a oh yeah, it's gonna be messy. It is this can't be the first one of this. Uh, this isn't the first time they've done something like this, is it? Surely they must do this already for well hate speech. Yes, or so, you know hate. The like. So here's what's interesting. Great question because hate speech and things like that. Though that type of content is usually struck and removed right not just demonetized so this from what it seems like they are not going to remove said content it's just they're not going to allow you to make money off of it which is interesting Mm -hmm. and i think that is something where i'm very curious are they going to do these additional or, or alternative things like algorithmic changes. Now I say algorithmic changes as if I know what the freaking <laughs> hell that entitles, right? They literally have a like two or three billion dollar algorithms, Google. So I'm just sitting here like, just make a tweak, you know, just tweak the algorithm. How hard could it be? You know, just flip the switch. Just flip the switch, right? Oh, here's the problem. But <laughs> oh, guys. Guys, here's the problem. We, guys, this is so silly. We need to flip the switch. That's all. We took care of it. 
But I wonder about like, okay, if you've identified a channel that is clearly doing this, can you then essentially in behind the scenes, almost internally with the algorithm, almost like give it a tag and you wouldn't know this, right? But what it would do is it would like cut the legs out of its reach, of its virality. Sure. Which I feel like they're probably doing some of this also. Surely. Right? Yeah, I would assume. I, I also wonder, like, is to that kind of, like, Google YouTube, this is their space. We've talked about this before on many different podcasts, but this is their playground. And they want to determine how you play in it. If it's like you get almost like a like a stamp of approval. Think of it like like a verification uh, right where it's like your blue, hey this your blue check is, or whatever yeah yeah this person is a truth a truth sayer as fact based and this person is like oh this is an opinion based channel right or something like that right i have no idea if any of these things are in the works but it just got me thinking when i saw this like are these solutions are these making it worse i mean it's going to affect your channel because you're all about climate change denying. It's like your biggest thing. Yeah, I'm flat earth, flat earther all the way. You know, um, we live in a bubble, on in a dome. <laughs> um, space isn't real. The moon landing was a hoax. Yep. Your you know. channel is going to. I wanted to bring this up because I do think your channel is going to suffer a little bit, Chris. So. Yeah. Um, aluminum hat guy. 42069 in case you want to follow Chris. I don't know what that that's not Chris's channel. I don't know what that is. It's somebody. It's <laughs> somebody probably. Probably. So here's but, my other thing. I kind of think this was brilliant time. Because what's what's the what's the hot button issue right now? Olive Garden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Second to Olive Garden. No. Oh. Third to Olive Garden, Adam Sandler, <laughs> it is um, vac- vaccinations. Oh, I see. And this part- is the testing these waters. I mean, part of me is kind of like, hey, listen, everyone's got all their feathers in a kerfuffle over the vaccination. Like, I feel like the climate change deniers, like they've, they're, it's like the eye of Sauron. Like they've moved over to vaxing. That's a yeah. evil thing. And they've lost, the, the hobbits are sneaking in, right? The, the, the climate change hobbits are sneaking into the tower when they're not looking. So I, I feel like this is actually really good timing for them. Yeah. I also like that movie about the climate change hobbits. <laughs> it's a great. It's, it's being, it's the Amazon version of, Lord of the Rings, I think. I think that's yeah. what, it is, what it is. I don't don't I don't know that for sure. And I think lastly, this really hits on once again the big difficult entanglement between technology, which has now become a um, ubiquitous aspect of life, and this unalienable American right of free speech. People connect the two thinking that if I can't, you know, this is bigger on Facebook, hence like getting back to my, uh, the sure. morning announcements with true social. If I can't be on Facebook, my first amendment rights are being infringed upon. It's not, nah, it doesn't work like that. Doesn't publish your own website, you know? Yeah. Like it doesn't work. No one is, no one is putting you in jail Right for the speech, but but people that 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 say that what they don't comprehend is you have free speech, but it is not without consequences. Mm-hmm. And I would say YouTube is actually being for now relatively. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say they'll let a lot of stuff on there. Yeah. And they're not, and again, from what I'm seeing, that they're not going to den- remove the content. Right. So you have the right to say it. Yeah. And post it, but you can't get paid for it. Yeah. It's like, it's like, hey, 
YouTube has a public pool and people can come in the pool. But if you're going to come in and pee in the pool every time, they're going to say, you we're not going to pay you to pee in the pool. We're not going to give you money to pay in the pool because that's not, it's gross. Other people, like, that's not what we're doing here. Right? And the people that do want it are so obviously wrong. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's so obvious that that is not a place where people should be, right? Anyway, so, if you follow me on my channel, Pool or 420. <laughs> 69 underscore <laughs> AOL. I don't know why. It's like one of those things where you thought it, your, it was your email, but then you put it in and then, oh, I, I don't right, want to change it. It's little x, capital x, pool pier, of course. capital x, l lowercase x. <laughs> so go give that a follow, everyone. <laughs> so that brings us to our third topic. This one's uh, in Facebook now. You did hear me mention in our morning announcements, no Facebook November. I will be doing that. If you want to learn more, you can go to tricycle-creative.com slash goodbye Facebook. I wrote a letter to Facebook and I explained why I do this every year and honestly why this might stick a little bit longer this year and why it may be longer than November. But we are going to talk about Facebook here because listen, it's one of the it's a it's a major platform. It's a billion dollar tech marketing social media. So Facebook has announced that they are going to be launching a audio hub. So it's going to be a place on the platform <clears throat> where podcasts, short form audio, live audio, all that stuff is going to be in there. Now, they, they have not, I don't believe, fully rolled out what's called live audio rooms. So that's going to be their competitor slash ripoff slash take on Clubhouse slash like the, the, like the audio rooms. Are you familiar with those? I feel like those burned real bright and then they've kind of like they're they're at a no. whimper right now. No. Yeah. I, I I haven't either and I love it's kind of a modern take on radio, so ironically I should love it, but I just I I, I also couldn't get into it. But that's gonna be Facebook's take. It's gonna be called Live Audio Rooms. Um which is a real catchy name. You know? Clubhouse or Facebook's live audio rooms. I got a couple of things. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, oh, like, why do we need this? Like, <laughs> Facebook already has so much crap going on. It's like going into Facebook is like going into a hoarder's house after they've passed. And you're just like, where is everything? You know like, I cannot find I can't find anything on Facebook. Anymore. It reminds me of iTunes before they basically put iTunes mm. in the grave where it was I'm, bloaty as hell. I mean, yeah, I can't open a Facebook page and find anything. There's so much clutter and yeah. I'm like, now you're okay. Throw an audio thing on. I will never notice it and never use it. I don't know why. Plus it's going to be what this is. This is going to be my central location for all, all, all the crazy ant rants that are, you know, you want to talk about climate change denial? Like this is Facebook now. Oh, don't now worry. The, I'm sure Facebook won't worry about that stuff for now. Uh, yeah. So yeah. everything that was written in capital letters on on a on a post is now just going to be shouted in an audio room. You can Great. hear it now live. Right. Yeah. Now I get to hear some some trucker's thoughts while he's pulled over in a you know flying J parking lot ranting about <laughs> ranting about vaccines. And I can go hear that in person. That's great. Yeah. That's what, I, that's what I'm looking forward Chris, to. Chris, you now have a one-stop destination. All right? Mm -hmm. I know you've been clamoring for it. I know you've been messaging Facebook. You've been really wanting it. Hey, guys. Because clearly this itch hasn't been scratched yet, right? Like, if you listen to podcasts, you're out there and you're like, how do I listen to podcasts? Where do I go to listen? Like, yeah, you haven't right. figured that out yet. Like, if you right, like, somebody's gonna people? yeah, like, somebody's gonna join Facebook and be like, oh, finally I can listen to This American Life. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> this is also as they tend to do. They have a partnership with uh, Spotify. They're, they're going to be doing a partnership uh, that allows you to also embed their like mini player. So you no, Spotify will put their something. Spotify will get anywhere it can. Oh yeah, they you know. 
I'm, I'm, just, just, Facebook I'm just gonna get on in here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> hey, you guys need Spotify for something? <laughs> I heard you like audio. <laughs> I got Spotify over here. I got over here. You got it? I got plenty of it. I got all of it. Yeah, no, you got room. You got room. Get they, a little Spotify they, in there. They are shameless peas in a pod with Facebook on a lot of things. So yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I don't know. Soon, this whatever this sounds like something we'll never hear about again if you ask okay, me. Okay, but like, is this a – okay, let me ask you this though. And I'm pretty sure – you heard my rant about Instagram for kids. Is this a better yeah. or oh, worse yeah. idea than Instagram for kids? <laughs> it's a better idea. I mean, it, it's, it's really a better a idea. Anything is better than Instagram for kids. Exactly. That's, let's, that's the worst idea. I do feel like I'm going to need to start to make a scale of like mm. Instagram for kids is the worst idea. And yeah. Going to Olive Garden with Adam Sandler is the best idea. I, I, Clearly. Like, like, <laughs> and That's what kids these, these days fall? want. Yeah. The Facebook scale, if you will. Yeah. It, that's. I'm still thinking about that. That Apparently, kids today, 15-year-olds, are still into eating breadsticks with Adam Sandler. Like That's wild. What is going on there? All right. Yeah. Listen, if you missed that segment, you can. I'll. I'll link it up here. You can. You can go watch it. It the most mind blowing. I think segment of of this month's news cycle show. Honestly, right? Who would have the fact that we're so out of touch? We didn't know we were still in touch. Right. That's what's <laughs> nuts. It's like yeah, we have left. We. I don't even know how to explain it. That's how out of touch I am. But you just nailed it. We're so out of touch. We didn't know we're cool anymore. You know. It's like, it's like the ironic, it's, it's like walking outside in bell bottoms just because it's like what you have only to find out that that's what's cool. And people are like, well, look how cool that guy is. And it was like total accidental coolness. Right. You know, kids these days, they're real into Circuit City and, and Groucho Marx. Like who, who, who knew? If peeing your pants is cool, consider me (laughs) Miles Davis. (laughs) <laughs> all right guys we're gonna we're gonna wrap up the show with a very important segment what did we learn okay chris so that kid kind of looks like the pee your pants kid from billy madison oh my god you're right that was not intentional I trust me, I did not pay whatever that child actor requires. That kid, that kid recently did an AMA on Reddit, by the way. Wow. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Everyone's doing an um, AMA on Reddit. I have a constant back and forth with a friend of mine because I still think Jar Jar Binks is terrible, and he tries to convince me that I should feel bad for the actor who, did, who was Jar Jar Binks because uh, he, he encountered bullying. I don't know that's a whole. That's that a topic situation. for a whole nother podcast. Yeah. Nother podcast. Okay, that's not what we learned. So, uh, what, what, what? what like cyclical trends. Let's start there. What did? What, yeah. What, what, what did you learn there? I mean, what I learned you really, you really can't predict what's going to be hot and what's going to be not. You know, there's just no telling. I, I guess also, you know. I guess with Adam Sandler, I mean, he's what he puts out like six movies on Netflix a month. So I suppose just pure, just shotgun blast Sandler I guess it makes sense that it's stuck with enough kids okay, who are wait, at home watching wait, Netflix wait you got something great there this is a great what did we learn that, that so where people get disconnected or they misunderstand social is that oftentimes social media is not a great resource it's not the rule, but it's not a great resource for conversion. It's a great resource for engagement and awareness. So to your point, Sandler puts out six, like he's always in front of you. Mm -hmm. Right. I think this speaks tremendously to you as the creative business owner to be creating content. And I say content that could be a social media post. It could be an email. It could be a video, but consistent content creation. So that, I mean, quite, good. Quite frankly, I mean, yeah. If you look at the other names, it's other people that are, I mean, The Rock also just movie, 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 show, oh. TV show, like just yeah. everything. Kanye, but, yeah. maybe not necessarily with his music, but because of his affiliation 
He is right. a guy who is. I think. I mean, if this is a survey, spotlight. This might. This might just literally be the first names that people think of. It might not even be their be. favorites. You're right. They're just. Uh, I don't know. Adam Sandler, I guess, because I, you know, just top of mind. But that's branding, right? I mean, that's the value yeah. of branding, right? That is. That's. That's a huge element, and when it comes to branding, that's a big umbrella underneath which comes content and all the work that you do. So I think that's a great takeaway for you if you're watching this from that segment is to understand that consistency is important when it comes to putting stuff out there to get in front of your current customers and your prospective customers. So great, great, great takeaway. Let's hit the next one. All right, so what did we learn from YouTube saying no to climate change deniers, denying them? Oh, uh, well, you know, we're going to get a ton of channels that are like, it's all just part of the conspiracy. They want to, you know, cut the funding because we're getting too close to the real truth. That's a, Yeah, they're on to us. Even though they're not taking the content down, they're just not giving ad revenue. Sure still that's infringing on my right of free speech <laughs> to make as you can tell by the fact that you're watching speech. a video yeah like <laughs> that's right i think you're hearing me say it like if you're saying it and people are hearing it then you clearly still have your free speech like nope. i that's where you're wrong and it's more free than ever because you're not being paid i w- that's true that's true it is it is more free than ever i think here an important takeaway is the old Maybe don't put all your eggs in one basket, even if you are not out there making anti-vax or climate change denier videos. Um, The thing to know is that these platforms, you do not own them. YouTube and Google, they own them. They own the playground. We've talked about this a lot before. It's their playground. Facebook, it's their playground. This is where Facebook especially I have a big challenge with also a big reason why I do the no Facebook November is because I do not like to hitch my wagon singularly to a, to one platform that I don't own because if Facebook decides, and they've done this to me multiple times throughout my career, if they decide they want to push a particular initiative, you can ride that wave, but then Facebook may move off of it. I have famously talked about this with video, how Facebook for years was juicing the hell out of video. And this was Mm -hmm. a great time for me to be in video strategy at a corporate media entity. And boy, oh boy, was that a fun wave to ride. But then they said, no, okay, we're kind of, we're moving on, right? And then it went, and there's, and the same strategy yields completely different results. That doesn't mean you shouldn't have a strategy, but what it means is you need to understand if you're doing digital marketing, shit changes. Which if they didn't stick to video, they're gonna stick to audio, which leads us to my next segment. I mean, your next segment, sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, honestly, great point. Let's hit it. So the third topic, Facebook's new audio hub. I think you just hit it. Dig a little deeper, Chris. What's the takeaway here? I mean, yeah, Facebook's going to dig into this audio thing, but like you just said about video, how long how long are they going to ride this wave? Like, it's already cluttered. It's going to be impossible to find anything. It's going to be like scanning through CB radio channels, <laughs> FB radio channels, just catching whoever's talking. Which for I'm sure there is an audience for that. People who want to be in their echo chambers, yes. you know? Yep. Yeah. But I don't see any... I, I Nobody's coming for season four of Serial it's to true. Facebook. You it's know true. what I mean? Or like, for that I don't... Matter, or for that matter, season two. That was kind of a stinker. Season. Yeah. Sorry, Serial. Yeah. I think this... I think Facebook's audio hub is going to go AWOL in the Middle East. <laughs> oh, wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Uh, for all your serial listeners out there. For all you serial listeners, a little tip of the cap there. Um, yes, I think the takeaway here is you can certainly 
Listen, I, th th I do not want to say to people, don't try new things. I think at when you are, the reality of being a digital marketer is that when new things come up is that you determine if there's an alignment with that platform and your audience and your content, that kind of thing, right? So if there is a fit there that you do, you can try it, right? But again, be very weary of putting all eggs into the basket. But again, I, I'm going to be very honest. Riding that wave when Facebook was pushing video, like, it was huge for me. But you need to be ready. You need to be looking around the corner, right? You need to be be ready for when they decide to just pull the rug out from under you. Keep copies. Yeah. 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 It's very true. Very true. Keep I copies. also... I don't understand what the audio really is is providing that the video on Facebook doesn't already, you know, like what like what is it offering aside from podcast hosting, which is like I've been listening to podcasts for years. I don't need it from Facebook. Yeah. You know, if anything, I don't want it from Facebook. They're just going to muck it up. Yeah. But yeah, like I don't know what an audio only platform on Facebook is going to give me that people posting their content in video isn't already. Let me give you the business case here. The business case is Facebook by their own, by their own device, by their own methodology has made it so that you watch what the videos you watch on Facebook are mostly kind of short form, right? They almost yeah. kind of have rewarded that through their algorithm like that. They're let's just say, under five minutes at most, right? But they're snippets. They are sure. bite-sized. Yeah. This is a video. Well, what does Facebook want you to do? Facebook wants you to be on and in the platform for as long as possible. So what is a great format that does that? That means you can have passive engagement, but still be like in the app audience. Sure. Right. Yeah. You can, yeah. you can put, you can, Oh yeah, I'm going to pull up, um, you know, this episode of tripod, shameless plug, tricycle creative podcast of tripod. And I'm just going to plug in and I'm going to do my chores while I do it. Sure. Well, yeah. Guess what? As far as Facebook is concerned, you're, you're using the, it's, Oh my God, that's an hour that they are in the app. So when they right. get to come to the shareholders meeting, when they get to make their reports, they say, listen, we've a user engagement is up. 500% because people are consuming audio at a record pace inside of Facebook and they're in there for on average three hours and it used to be one hour. This is the exact business case. Now I'm, uh, and, and Facebook is smart. So I am sure this is more about how do we get people to stick around longer and consume stuff versus like, oh, this is a great service that we're going to provide. Sure. People. Plus the ad, I mean, the ad space. Oh my God. Know. The ad, yes. They, they are constantly running out of ad uh, inventory. Right. right. So that means there's so many people running ads. They sometimes run out of or get low on inventory. Now, Instagram, them could, that was a huge reason why they bought Instagram. Whoa, new platform. Instagram video, that as I talked about in the morning announcements, is gonna be new, like, these are new places where new ad formats, new ad inventory can all, of, all, can all of a sudden be created, right? I'm really surprised it hasn't made its way into groups yet. I'm shocked, actually. Yeah. So call that a, I'm going to call my shot and see if that starts coming up in the next, in next year. Right. Yeah. So this was a, this was a solid episode of good learnings. The big three, we got, a, we, we, we got a lot out of this. I hope you did too. If wherever you are listening to this, wherever you are watching this, there is a way to probably subscribe. So if you haven't done that already, subscribe to the podcast, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And until next time, I encourage you, what I always encourage you to do, is keep pedaling. <laughs>